for freedom, Christ set us free. For many of us, this lofty phrase from Paul may have been lost amid the seemingly hard and harsh words coming from Elijah in the first reading and from Jesus in the gospel. Our natural reaction to hard sayings is to distance ourselves from them. Perhaps Elijah's words are intended only for prophets, and the words of Jesus are intended only for apostles, and we are neither prophets nor apostles. What a relief. But in our hearts, we recognize that the words of Jesus are directed to everyone, including us. For freedom, Christ set us free. A second strategy for dealing with seemingly hard and harsh words is to make them familiar and comfortable. And so we may try to place Paul's call for freedom within the context of our American concept of liberty, which we will celebrate on July 4th, a celebration that has now appropriately been augmented by our recent celebration of Juneteenth. But the civic understanding of liberty or freedom is different from the Christian understanding of freedom. In civil society, we understand freedom as the ability to live one's life as one chooses, free of obstruction from the government. But for the Christian, freedom is an inner disposition of the heart and soul that enables us to live and to act in concert with the will of God. That's worth repeating. For the Christian, freedom is an inner disposition of the heart and soul that enables one to live and to act in concert with the will of God. It is this kind of freedom to which Elijah calls Elisha, to which Paul calls the Galatians, and to which Jesus calls those who would follow him. It is a call for you and me, regardless of our vocation, regardless of our situation in life. For freedom, Christ set us free. For the Christian, Nelson Mandela experienced greater freedom living within prison walls than did the rulers of South Africa surrounded by the walls of apartheid. For the Christian, Rosa Parks experienced more freedom sitting on a bus than did governors who stood in schoolhouse doors. For the Christian, those who promote a culture of life And children who ask adults to put meaningful limitations on instruments of death experience greater freedom than politicians who are constrained by poll numbers and special interest groups. For the Christian, sacrifice brings greater freedom and a rejection of selfishness. For the Christian, freedom means being able to stand up against bullying and gossip even if everyone else seems to be doing it. For the Christian, freedom means being able to reject the negative aspects of social media, especially when it dehumanizes others, as with pornography. For the Christian, freedom means being able to prioritize faith and family over the need to get ahead economically or socially. For freedom, Christ set us free. Freedom for the Christian is only sometimes about choosing right over wrong or good over bad. More often than not, daily growth in Christian freedom involves making choices that are right and difficult rather than settling for what is right and easy. It means promoting what is good over what is good enough, and it means assisting others to grow in freedom 
as we love our neighbors as ourselves. For freedom, Christ set us free. The person confined to a hospital bed grows in freedom as their family, friends, and compassionate caregivers help them to bridge the gulf from acquiescence to acceptance. Christian freedom enables those locked in prison cells to move from bitterness, anger, and guilt to redemption. For the person beset by addiction, discouragement, or depression, Christian freedom makes it possible to live day by day, one step at a time, and to not look back. Christian freedom enables us to place our wants on hold while we attend to the needs of others. Choosing to follow Jesus in freedom will certainly entail hardships. Freedom in Christ may entail setbacks, but failing to follow Jesus today will never bring down fire from heaven. Jesus assures us of that, and he rebuked his disciples for even thinking it. Jesus accepts us as we are and as we are able, but he does want us to follow him and to not look back. For freedom, Christ set us free. As we go forth this day, let us pray for the ability to serve others in freedom. Let us pray for the courage to do even when it is hard, rather than simply doing what is right and easy and comfortable. Let us live by the Spirit so that we may liberate our neighbors by doing what is good and kind and loving. For freedom, Christ set us free. <laughs>